Hello, my name is Tom Aldous. I am the Director of Business Development and Product Evangelism for the Tech Communication Suite, RoboHelp, and FrameMaker. Uh, today I want to show you a feature that I think is extremely uh, powerful. Uh, if you've had the opportunity to use RoboHelp in the past, uh, this is a new feature that we've added into RoboHelp 10. It's creating an Android application from your uh, content that you uh, can import, link, or even create in uh, RoboHelp 10. So as you can see on my screen, I have RoboHelp, RoboHelp 10 open right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up one of our sample projects. We have a new one in RoboHelp 10. It's called Global Site Consult. I'm going to open that up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can set it up so you can actually create an Android app on your own also. It really comes down to the setup and the setup has to be only done once and once that's done you can create as many Android apps for all of your uh, content. Uh, this same procedure would be the way that you'd actually uh, publish your content from FrameMaker using the tech communication suite. So I'll show you how to set it up on RoboHelp and then you can push it through uh, FrameMaker if you choose to use that uh, workflow. Very simple uh, thing to do. So basically what we need to do is we need to create HTML5 content. So there's a template for creating HTML5. So if we take a look at projects tab, you'll see different screen profiles. Now some of them come right out of the box. You can add new ones. Uh, what you see here is we have an Android Galaxy Tab, Android Phone, Desktop, iPad, iPhone, Kindle Fire. We could right click and we can add new ones. New screen profile. If I uh, wanted to I could create a new screen profile, different size uh, maybe of the uh, the window itself of whatever profiled uh, multi-screen. And I wanted to define. Uh, next thing I might want to do is I might want to click on screen layouts. Now we've defined uh, all the different ones that we had the uh, profiles for. So if you take a look and we wanted to go into something like an iPhone layout, I could see that we've made uh, different uh, windows. Like in this particular case, it's home, uh, the default window. So if I were to double click on that, you'll be able to see actually the layout. Uh, this is the layout. We have the contents, index, glossary. We can add uh, icons. Uh, we can move it around. We can change color. We can uh, just use the sample that's here. And this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use the sample that's laid out. But I did want to expose you to where uh, the screen profiles are and the layouts. Uh, next thing that we want to do is we want to just set it up so we're able to have an Android app automatically generated. Now if you click on File, Generate, Native Mobile App, you'll have the Generate Native Mobile App um, dialog box that pops up. Now you can change the name of the application if you'd like, uh, the package name itself also. Now this is what's going to show up when we actually build the, uh, um, the application. Uh, we may choose to have uh, icons, and that's the icons that will show up on our Android device uh, that we can double click on. I actually just went over to the uh, web and I looked for sample PNG files, downloaded one that I liked, and then I'm just uh, connecting up to it. So I can just browse and then point to some type of icon that I'd be interested in using. This is the sample that I'm used. Now click on setup, and here's the setup tab. Now there's a few things that are required to be able to save our content in RoboHelp and that could be something that we did a file import of a Word document or a frame document or HTML or XHTML or a PDF. Uh, any content that I can bring into uh, RoboHelp, I could even author it uh, natively, uh, create this XHTML uh, content in the background. Uh, but on top of that what we need to do is we need to download the PhoneGap software developers kit, the Android software developers kit. Make sure that we have JDK and also Apache Ant. And those are the things that we use to be able to uh, set up our uh, system. So I've done that already. Now let me show you how I did it. Now these are the locations that I've actually installed these in particular uh, um, software developers kits. Uh, this is just my choice. It didn't have to be that way. But RoboHelp's going to need to know where I actually place these. So Oh, maybe you don't know where you can get the uh, PhoneGap Software Developers Kit. If you click on Download, 
we will do that hard work for you. So now you're going to click here. You can click on download. Uh, when you go to download it, you'll download it. And what you want to do is you want to save it into a location. Now I saved it right on my C drive, and I told RoboHelp exactly where it was uh, in the uh, file system. So if we were to open up the file system browser, if I came here, you'll notice that I have a phone gap. Here's my subdirectory. So RoboHelp is just going to need to know that. So I just did a copy and I paste it in here. Same thing with the Android Software Developers Kit. We can click on download. And I can download that, expand it, and in this case I put it right on the default which is program files. Now I'm using Windows 7 uh, so it's a 30-bit uh, Operate, I mean a 32-bit application so it's going to download to program files x86 so that's where I've dropped mine uh, you can put it anywhere you want to RoboHelp just needs to know where you put it. Uh, next thing that I need to make sure that is that I have JDK. Now JDK what I can do is I can download now this is the selection that I did it's not the only one I just clicked on download once I select download I just have to pick what I have so in my case I have a 64-bit operating system so I select this one right here now you don't have to you could always if you don't have a 64-bit just select that one download it install it RoboHelp just needs to know where you installed it this happens to be where I installed it same thing with Ant last thing that we need what we're gonna do is we're gonna just come down here and we're gonna download the uh, Ant build here's the Ant build I also uh, just installed this on my C drive. RoboHelp just needs to know that. Now what I can do is I can decide where I want to actually place this application. So when we build this app, I'm going to drop it in to a folder that I'm going to create right now. I'm going to call it App1. And I'm going to say OK. Now all I have to do is click Generate. RoboHelp will do the rest. So basically what's happening now is the project's being built. Uh, we're generating HTML5 screen aware content. So basically we have the uh, query to find out what screen it is and we can present to you the experience that you want to present for that particular screen. So if it's a small screen you may choose to uh, not display certain uh, content. You might want to display in certain fonts. Maybe you want to have different types of button uh, controls. Uh, that is totally configurable by you. I showed you in the uh, project tab uh, where you can make those uh, changes. So that's what RoboHelp is doing right now. It's building that HTML5 content. That's the same content that could be dropped onto your website. And then you could have screen aware content uh, straight on maybe your intranet or your website. But in this case, we need to create this HTML5 content. And then what we do is we use the software developers kit, uh, Adobe PhoneGap. Uh, you know, Ant, all of the other uh, things that we need, like the Android Software Developers uh, Kit, that's all being used. And right now we're building this uh, app, and we'll be able to find it on our file system as soon as this is complete. And it is almost complete, so it's kind of amazing how quickly this thing uh, does generate uh, applications. Uh, but right now we're building this uh, application. Uh, now we're we're given the uh, the total project, and you could actually bring it into your uh, environment if you wanted to modify the application or you could use what's generated directly by RoboHelp. You can copy the uh, APK file to your Android device and it will work flawlessly. So now we've created this app. Let's go take a look. You'll see my app1 subdirectory. We'll find the app in my bin folder and if we were to take a look you'll find that we have an ABK right here this is the file now what I can do is I can actually just put this on a maybe a memory chip I'll bring it over to my uh, Android device and it will work flawlessly I hope this was useful take care thanks a lot